to our other big story tonight. A disturbing metro ride caught on camera and it ends with a man attacking a woman who was recording a hate filled argument between passengers. The passengers were calling each other homophobic and racial slurs. And tonight the woman who recorded it all is talking exclusively with us. First on seven, our Ross Plater is live outside the Lafont Metro station. She has more on this so called metro ride from hell. Roz. <laughs> well, Leon, the lady says it was very scary. She was on the train with her 15 year old son. She says their wild ride started here at L'Enfant Plaza and continued all the way out to Anacostia. Rush hour Thursday evening, the Green Line Metro train headed to Branch Avenue. Sarah Fox says the man she captured in the cell phone video appears to have started it all. When the doors were closing and the gentleman started pushing the lady in front of him. Once on the train, she says, the two exchanged heated words and then things escalated. He called her and the N-word. That's when I said, well, let me get out my camera and take record this because it's kind of something's going to happen. We blocked out the offensive language, but on the tape you can hear a verbal free for all, racial slurs, homophobic slurs, profanity. I have my son sitting next to me on the train and I said, you know, can you watch your language? It was at that point, Fox says, the man seemed to realize she was recording the melee. You're so disrespectful. And that's when he just smacked at me, smacked the phone on my hand. <laughs> And all heck broke loose. We showed the video to some other Metro riders who said the grown-ups should know better. The violence and they're trying to fight and the curse words. As for the man who Fox says attacked her. Maybe people may disagree with me, but I think that he had a bad day and he probably took it out on the wrong person and, and got in over his head. It's not worth going ahead and pressing charges. Now, Dean, she says it's not worth uh, pressing charges there. Metro Police tell us that they have contacted the Brandywine man believed to be behind the physical altercation, at least to have started the physical altercation. Their investigation continues. So far, no charges have been filed. We're live in Southwest D.C. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. All right.